A woman's family finally getting some answers after she was found strangled in the back seat of her car more than 50 years yeah, ago. Prosecutors say the so-called torso killer who's been convicted in 11 other deaths is responsible. Jody Goldberg shows us how they were able to tie him to this case. Justice never runs out of breath, no matter how many years have gone by. Darlene Altman finally receiving closure. She was only four when her mom, 23-year-old Diane Cusick, was brutally murdered back in February of 1968. We are sorry for your loss. On Wednesday, more than half a century later, Darlene, through a virtual arraignment, saw the man who prosecutors say is responsible for taking her mother's life. 75-year-old Richard Cunningham pleaded not guilty to murder charges from his hospital bed. He just had like this dead stare. I felt like he was looking right at me. It was creepy. Richard Cunningham. Stood in a courtroom. The man they want is 33 year old Richard Cottingham. Back in 1980, Fox 5 covered other cases involving Cottingham, the Manhattan computer programmer known as a so called torso killer, after he dismembered some of his victims. The convicted serial killer has spent the past four decades serving a life sentence in connection with other murders across the tri state area. The Suffolk police came to us and said that they were aware that there were possible murders in Nassau and Suffolk involving someone who was incarcerated in New Jersey. Officials say Cusick, a dance teacher, stopped at Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream to get a pair of shoes. Her parents reported her missing when she didn't come home. They were the ones to find her strangled body in the backseat of her car in the parking lot of the former Steak Pub restaurant. According to police, Cunningham used to frequent the area, would pose as a security guard and target young women. He would accuse them of stealing something, and then once he got their attention, he'd commit this violent act. This case prompted the Nassau District Attorney's Office to review all unsolved homicides involving women from 1967 to 1980, and police tell us so far they've submitted DNA for an additional five cases to see if there's any connection. Now, because technology has become so advanced, we can do deeper testing of the same DNA. While Darlene feels overwhelmed, she also expressed a sense of relief. I never thought I'd see this day. I had given up, but all these people got justice for me and for my mother. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.